Hello, this is Dominique and Emily's project about bunny rabbits. Hello, Mimi. Hello. Uh, explain how these bunny rabbits here are related to science. Okay. First of all, bunnies are related to science because of hopping. Second, multiplying. And third, eating. We have two different subjects today, and Emily will introduce them. Okay, this is Snuffleupagus, uh, otherwise known as Snuffles. She is a mini Rex, and she will be helping us very well. And this is Peepo, and and she is a Dutch mix, and she's kind of more feisty. So. <laughs> First, we're gonna start with topping. We're going to use Snuffles as our demonstration for hopping. As you can see, Snuffles is a very good hopper, and hopping is related to science because of the forces of their feet and gravity pushing them forward. Now, as the bunny's feet push backwards, the bunny moves forwards. This causes motion due to unequal forces. You can tell that an object is moving by focusing on a reference point. Take this rock, for example. If we put this down and let Snuffles run by it, then you can tell that she is moving because the reference point always stays in the same spot. Hippo is bigger than Snuffles, therefore she has more mass and inertia. So which bunny do you think is going to go faster? Which bunny had more momentum once they sped up? The fat bunny or the little bunny? The bigger bunny did. Multiplying! As you can see, the result of too many bunnies causes habitat destruction, which is bad. Eating. As you can see in this clip of Snuffles eating, when her mouth is open, there is tension, and when it is closed, there is compression. In the beginning of our movie, you learn that hopping is related to science because of unequal forces of gravity causing movement. The second topic of our movie was multiplying. It was related to science because an overpopulation of bunnies or of any species could be a disaster to our ecosystem. And last, we taught you how eating was related to science. Eating is related to science because when the bunny's mouth is open, it creates tension. When it's closed, it creates compression. These three topics prove that the bunnies are related to science. Test it. Ready? Go, bunnies! Go! <laughs> oh. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Dominique and Emily.